Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Dean. All right, today with our number talks, um, we are going to look at our learning intention and success criteria up here on the window. What is it that we have to think about when we're learning about our number talks? TJ. Yep, we're going to use our silent thumb up signal. What else are we going to do after we do that and have our answer with us? Share our answers. And finally, share our strategies. Okay? What is our learning intention for today? We are learning to add and subtract smoothly and efficiently. We're also going to know if, that we are successful when we can um, explain our strategies and sometimes even explain what our friends' strategies are. So I have a problem up here on the board. I want you to look at that. When you have your answer, remember our signal. Put your thumb in front of you. I see a lot of you still thinking, wheels spinning. And I'm going to pick a name. Manny, did you get an answer for this? Yes. What answer did you get? 31. 31. I see many of you are agreeing. Kaidri, you disagree. What answer did you get? 39. 39. Okay. Ariana, you got something other than 31 and 39? 19. 19. Okay. 31, 39, and 19. And I'll take one more. Karn Beer, you have a different answer? 41. All right, let's see what we got here. Kayla, which answer did you come up with? 31. You came up with 31. Can you explain how you got 31? 90 minus 50 equals 30. 90 minus 50 equals 30, she says. I mean, I mean 40. Equals 40. All right. And then... 40 minus 9 equals 31. And 40 minus 9 equals 31. Which strategy did you use, Kayla? Subtracting parts. Subtracting parts. Where did you get your 50 from? The 59. From the 59. And the 9 you got right there. Who has a different way? Did this come out correctly? Yes. So we've determined that that is our answer? Yes. Very good. Who has a different way of doing it? Yes, Sandra. You used a number line. I see a lot of people agreeing with you here. How did you do it now? I started at 59. Started at 59. added 1 plus 1 to get to 60. Then I added 30 to get to 90. Then you added 30 to get to 90. Okay. added your jumps. One plus thirty equals thirty one. Jacob, can you tell us how she did it and kind of explain what she did in your own words? So she started at fifty nine and she added one to get to sixty and then she added 30 to get to 90. <coughs> and then 1 plus 30 equals 31. And, oh, she added her jumps. Added her jumps. 1 plus 30 equals 31. Cameron. I, oh, that, I agree with her answer, but I did it a different way. You agree, but you did it a different way. How did you do it? I used it wrong, subtracting and 
You use subtracting in parts also. By the way, what strategy did you use, Sandra? Adding up. You were adding up. Very good. So, Cameron, how did you subtract in parts that's different from this way that Kayla did? Well, what I did was when I had the 90, I immediately subtracted 30. When you had the 90, you immediately subtracted 30. Okay? So, if I have 90 and you immediately subtract 30, what does that do? 60. It's a 60. Oh. And then I knew six, if 59 plus 1 would be 60, then 60 minus 1 would be 59. So 60 minus 1 is 59. He said he knew that if 59 plus 1 was 60, then 60 minus 1 equals 59. And then I looked in the middle, and I used the thing that I subtracted to get my answer to this one. So here is his answer. Okay? Excellent job. For another. So, what about that one? Remember, when you have your answer, give me my symbol. did you come up with? 35. 35. Can you tell us how you came up with 35? Well, I used the, um, um, I, um, subtracted. You subtracted in parts? And then okay. I knew that, that equals 35. Added your jumps, 1, 30, mm -hmm. and 4. 1 plus 30 plus 4. And that equals what? 35. 35. Jacob, how about one more way? Okay. So I remember the last one was 90 minus 59, and that equals 31. So you remember the last problem was 90 minus 59, and that equals 31. So you add 31, now 90 added 4, so you're going to add 4 on, you say? Use your prior knowledge to help you solve that problem. Okay. Whoops, I wrote 5, didn't I? You knew what I meant. All right, let's do one more. up. 
remember to use one of our strategies when you're doing it in your head, finding that efficient way to do it. Ariana Cobb, what answer did you get? 43. 43. Ooh, a lot of people agree with that one. 43. Isabella? 45. You say 45. And Ariana? I say 41. 41. Okay. Let's see what what Natalie had. Natalie, which answer did you come up with? 43, 45, or 41? 43. 43. Can you tell us how you got to 43? the number line. I started at 48. Started at 48. Where did you go from there? And going, are you going up or down? Up. So you're doing the adding up. So where's a good place to go from 48? Add 10. You could add 10. Let's do that. What's that going to put us at? Another 10. Where's that going to go to with another 10? 88. 88. One, 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 or just three? Just three. Just three? Why did she just say three instead of one, one, one? That makes it more what? Efficient. Efficient. Very good. Plus three. So now what? Got you to 91. And then I added the jumps. Added the jumps. Let's add the jumps. 10, 20, 30, 40, 43. Is there, nice job by the way, is there a more efficient way to do what she did? A more efficient way to do what she did. Jasmine? Made a jump of 40. Made a jump of 40. Yeah. Plus 40. And the three. Doing it by tens? Did that work for us? Yes. Yes, it did. Okay. This is a more efficient way to do it. But both ways.